and this is gonna be so good, you guys. Oh, hi, Mark. Wait for it, wait for it. There you go. All right. Hi, Captain. So, okay, hello, YouTubes. I'm going to be recording this endurance run. We are going to play Ultima Exodus Iron Man style. So, to catch up YouTube, because uh, I've done this, like, basically, going to play until everybody dies. We've created 20 characters by random. Uh, Month helped name them, and he actually chose a couple of the characters himself. Uh... <laughs> Spoilers, like, I've played this game to death, and I'm going by memory, so there's that, and, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about spoilers. However, we are going to be making our own maps, which is what this is about right here in the corner. Uh... Kind of important right here. No save manipulation, no new characters. And then the rest is just... Whatever happens, happens. Let's go ahead and... Just... Make a little mark right there. Because we're about to start. And yeah, good times. Uh, I'm not going to be cutting any of this for YouTube, so please don't swear. That's bullshit. Swear all you want, I don't care. Alright. Let's examine. So here we go. Uh, Moto, Sling, Ugg, Yiffer. Peter El Elian, Elian, Elian. I'm gonna say Alien. Bjorn, Klaus, uh, Lerna, who is a Bobbit, Lerna Bobbit. Uh, Sinner, Flynn, Yuri, Tekli, which is like an eldritch name right there. Brewer, Sneak, Rick, Hugo, uh, Aunan, Vegan, the Elven Barbarian, and Morty. So let's form a party. Um, when these guys die, that's it. That's it. There's no getting anybody else. However, if we get a cleric up high enough... Oh no. I don't know if we can get a cleric up high enough. We need a cleric that's... There's like one particular race, right? Hang on. I gotta look up something real quick. Um... Okay, so what we need here is will-based magic. It's the highest form, recall, which requires 75 uh, magic points. What race can reach 75 wisdom, which is what's necessary for that? And it's got to be a cleric. Nobody else will be able to do it. Uh, elves can't, but everybody else can. So the elven cleric, do I have an elven cleric? I do, don't I? Uh, how many clerics do we got? We have a lion, an elven cleric, can't cast this. Another elven cleric, Kla Klaus, fuck, can't cast this. Here we go, a dwarven cleric, Brewer. Brewer can cast this, and that's it. So Brewer is the only one who can raise people from ashes. Fuck. So we gotta be really careful with Brewer. Brewer is our MVP. If Brewer goes down, everybody is screwed. Oh, man. What do I do? Oh. Oh, what do I do? How do we get Brewer powerful enough? So, we're not going to touch Brewer, the Dwarven Cleric. Not for a good long while. 
Wait, a Bobbit. Do we have a Bobbit cleric? We don't. They're all, uh, all everybody else is an Elva cleric. God damn you, dice. Fucking dice rolls. Shit. <laughs> um, okay. I didn't think about this when I rolled up characters. All right. <laughs> so, let's let's make a note right now. It's it's kind of important. Protect Brewer Christ Almighty. We must protect Brewer. <laughs> so that's like super important right there. <laughs> because if Brewer dies, everybody who falls into ash is permanently like that. Good to know. Good to know. So Brewer is the linchpin, like the keystone of this. So we're gonna be we're gonna be really careful with Brewer. We can pick any of the other clerics. Let's make it like a normal team. Let's make uh, Mondo a Bobbit Ranger. No, no, I don't think so. Who else can we got here? Um, Elven Druid. I don't remember what Druids are. I think they're will-based. Um, let's see. Okay, well, let's start with, like, Barbarians first. We can start with Morty. Throw Morty in the mix. Who else? Alchemist. What do Alchemists do? It, I, I rarely use Alchemists. Okay, they're mages. But they're half power. So let's start with Rick and Morty. But Rick's going to be in the back, so not Rick. Do we have any Dwarven Fighters? Do we have any Fighters? We have one... Two Fighters. Aunan and... Peter. Let's grab Peter. Let's grab Rick. And let's grab one of the elven clerics. Who's the first one? Alien. We'll grab Alien, the cleric. Okay, there we go. Why are they moving so fast? Did you see that? He just kind of ran for it, man. So, I guess, like... Let's make some marks in our map. Like, I'm, I'm taking my time with this goddamn game, alright? I love this game. And yes, this is an endurance run, but also... I mean... It's motherfucking Ultima Exodus. And we should just enjoy this. So we got... What's a good one? Dark... Dark Red... Dark red seems all right. We're going to call this uh, Castle British, is it? Brit. And I don't remember what this town's name is. But here we are. First one. All right, let's get in there, man. Let's get in there.
Welcome to Lord British's Castle. Yep, Castle Brit. I'm remembering the controls. Give me a sec. Okay. Cleric with 25 wisdom. No intelligence. Alien is dumb as bricks. Rick is pretty smart. Morty's got a beard. Eh, what can you do? Multiple realities. Everybody's at 150 HP. No experience. We all have 100 gold. Let's, um, I'm sure this is a really wise idea. Oh my god, I just f remembered. Food. I don't see how much food we have. Dagger and cloth. Dagger and cloth. Dagger and cloth. Dagger and cloth. It doesn't say how much food we have. How do you find out how much food we got? Oh, here we go. 150 food. That's gonna disappear fast. I usually like having 200 to 500 food per person. What is it, like one food per gold? I guess we'll find out. Hello, lady. Uh, the king is a kind man. Yeah, he's been to space. That's a little joke for you people who aren't, uh, well, who are Richard Garriott fans. If you run out of food, you may starve to death. Good to know. Also, gremlins. Gremlins are like the bane of my existence in this game. Be sure to come back. Oh, I will. I can't level up any other way. Uh, Rick. You're a lead man. Welcome back, Rick. <laughs> Did I leave? I know you had hardships in the, your journey. <laughs> um, yes? But you are not experienced enough yet. Come back after you've made experience. Okay. Uh, we could fight this door. Is there not an open option? Guess not. Shared food. Give. That's right, I can give all of everything. Okay, give. I'm trying to remember. Give Rick. No? Gold isn't an option? Rick has nothing. Get. Nothing here. These are super. Order. I thought there was a way to pull all of the money together, but I don't see that as an option here. That's gonna be tricky. Let's try... That's not an option. Oh man, I'm really having trouble remembering how to give Everybody, like, give all the gold to one person. Magic. Rick, what can you cast? Repel, Missile, and Light. That's pretty good. Elian, what can you pack? A lot more. I won't need Rise or Sink for a while. Undead, Open, Heal, and Glow. Heal's gonna be pretty damn useful. Okay, there's got to be a way to share food. Let me take a look here. Are these JPEGs? Okay, yeah, these are JPEGs. I can't search this. 
Character condition. Good, poison, cold, dead, and ash. Hmm. Whoa, that was weird. I didn't even know I could do that. Commands. Talk. Magic. Can I zoom in at all? Oh, here we go. Typical. This command is to exchange gold amongst the members of the party. Choose the character who is exchanging the gold and the amount. Okay. I mean, we can give it a try. Gold. Let's give 1,000 to Rick. 100. Gold. Peter. Give 1,000 to Rick. 100 was good. Elaine. Give 100 to Rick. Okay, status for Rick. 400. Let's start with food. Oh, hey, what's up there, buddy? Only brave venture beyond this point. I'm brave! Never mind, I can't open that. Uh, tools. Okay. I think if I had keys, I could open doors that way. Oh, th we gotta save our game. Because, you know, nothing has happened. But it's mostly I gotta remember how to save games. If I remember right, it's like you gotta go around this corner or something. Or is this the doctor? Welcome to the inn. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would. Finished. Okay. Since this is Iron Man, like, we don't know who all is going to survive and who's going to die, so it doesn't actually matter. It still feels like I'm missing something. Let's try this way. Um, is there a way? Okay, there we go. Food 147. We're all, we've been walking around the castle just shoving food into our mouths the entire time. Treasure chests are booby-trapped. Be told right. Please destroy Exodus. That's the plan. Or we die trying. Hi. Are you descendants of Link? I'm insulted. Travel all over the world into the ground. Travel all over the world into the ground, into the forest, into, into the sea and the islands. Thank you for your help. over here okay good way to just end the iron man is just to walk everybody into this force field that would be a lot of fun let's not do that this is the hospital please come in hi i am the healer uh give blood Resurrect is 500, and it might turn them to ash. Cure Poison. Eh. Cure Cold. These are good to know. Uh, I'm not going to give blood, because, although that's a good way to make money, it's also a good way to just, like, screw ourselves over early on. Well, I mean, it depends. Please destroy Christmas. <laughs> Do I look like a Martian? So that was Captain Britain's castle. What is this? Welcome to the Royal City. All right. Well...
There we go, Royal City. Now we know for sure. We could make a map of the Royal City. I mean, we're here just to kind of relax, right? If Exodus is awake, what will happen to us? I'm so scared all the time. Oh my, it's a giant machine monster created by Mordain the Evil. I'm going to die. Oh, oh no, it's a tiny insect the size of a small pebble. I'm going to die. Anyway, what's going on here? When did Mordain... Oh, I thought it was more. No, I guess it is Mordain. When did Mordain perish? I didn't know about that. About two games ago? Welcome to the pub. It's ten for a drink. Would you like one? Nah. Thank you. See you again. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. That's racist. Okay, I need, like, food? Because we're at 140. This entire time we've been eating 10 food. We've just been shoving food into our mouths. Please tell me you're a grocer. Welcome to the grocery store, Rick. Buy 100 food. That'll give everybody 25. And 100 more food. Do you need anything else? No. Thank you. And let's f distribute food. Welcome to the pub. Is it really a pub? You're there. Talk to me, old man. A strange wind blows in the dungeon. When, when were you in the dungeon? What, what, when did you go to the dungeon? Which dungeon? It plunges everything into darkness. Okay. That reminds me, I'm going to need torches. We're, it's going to be a while before we touch dun dungeons. Like a long while. What, are you going to fight against Exodus? How brave. How brave. There are four shops in this town. Okay, well, we've seen two of them. I guess let's go for number three. I've come here to buy armor. Good for you. Can you spare a dime? I cannot. Welcome to the weapon shop. Bye, Rick. How much is an axe? Ooh, nice. Swords are even better. What I need is... I don't remember... I don't remember how powerful these are. But I know that basically we want sword and spears... And that's before we find the secret town of Dawn, I think it was called. Blowguns would be nice, but man, those are expensive. I don't see any bows and arrows. I guess they're all like that. So let's see. Who can use a sling? Because what we have here is an alchemist and a cleric. Can clerics use slings? Mace is about as much as the cleric can get. And bronze armor. We might have to go into our first fight just swinging maces and daggers around. Okay. Let's buy a sling. Somebody can use it. Right? Want anything else? Yes. Buy a mace. I know that. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. Rick. Give... Oh, shoot. That was my bad. 
Rick gives the sling to... I don't know. Peter. Rick gives the mace to Morty? Oh, he'll need it more than Elina, Elia. So we'll give it to Morty. You know what? We should hand the sling to, um... To Elia. Or... No. Alchemists can't use slings. Peter, give the sling to Elia. Will that work? Can she use that sling? No. She can't use it. Hello? Yeah, you got it. Got yeah, nope. Nope, it's all in my house. Alright. I'll see you in a second. Bye. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Alright. So, she can't use the sling. We might as well give it to the fighter. It is slightly better than the dagger. I think it does the same amount of damage as the dagger. But will um, be long range. So, okay. So, we've got food. I just realized that nobody here is a thief. We've got no one to open stuff. Um... Rick, can you open? No. Aliyah, can you open? Yes. Okay. So we're going to be kind of relying on Aliyah to open chests. Let's start with this bad boy up here. Magic repel. Bop. Two down. I can't remember if Repel works twice in the same round. Oh, well, that orc's dead. Let's try it a second. Nope. Doesn't work. Alright, Morty, go ahead and rip this guy apart. Why did I say yes to calling him Morty? Missed. Morty takes seven damage. There we go. Victory! Okay, cast open. Ah, it was trapped. 
Okay, I don't know if I can handle that many bad guys, so how about we draw some over here? Could have talked to them. Let's go ahead and repel. Bop. Bop. So Rick's going to be like super powerful by the end of this. Laya, open. Huh. What are they? I don't remember. I think they're undead. One, two, three, four. We should be able to do four of these guys. Miss. Miss again. Wait for it. Boom, dead. Okay, we got the front line and we got Rick in the background. Wait for it. Not sure if wait for it. What are my options here? Tools, magic, and fight. So I can't switch weapons. Interesting. Do I have any spells left? Yeah, I can do one more missile. God, these things are tough. Do we want to keep track of the bad guys? That thing's dead. Oh man. Eight damage. How's everybody's health? Alright, actually. As everybody gangs up on this one guy, beating him to death with maces and what have you. There we go. Failed. Failed? Why is this not opening? Failed? What is going on here? There we go. Got gold. Uh, okay. How much gold do we have? We've got like 200-ish. How much food do we got? I'm trying to remember how to uh, pull up this thing without waiting. We're all right on food. Okay, let's go to the Royal City real quick. See what we're doing here. Her magic's all right. Can you heal? Who needs it, actually? Um... Morty kind of needs healing, but might heal on his own. It's not that bad. All right, let's give... Um, here we are. All the gold. Like 1,000 to Rick. Rick is our purser. I want to give Aliyah a mace. And let's take a look at some armors. She got now. Well, this is Rick. He's 
He's got a dagger and some cloth. He's got a mace and some cloth. We can sell that dagger, actually. Give that dagger to Rick. And let's see here. We're definitely going to get a mace for her. So let's switch to hand, cloth. He's got that sling. He doesn't need that dagger right now. You can accidentally throw daggers, too. That dagger to Rick. And, okay. So. Sell that dagger. Anything else? Yes. Sell another dagger. Can you just kind of see this like, yeah, I'd like to sell this uh, dagger? I don't know how to how he burps on command. It's like, sure, uh, well, here, here's five gold for that dagger. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, I'd like to sell this dagger. I feel like I've done this before. Anything else? No. All right, Rick. You got 200. I need a mace for Alina. Yeah, I know that. Uh, what else? I can get an axe for, uh, for the Barbarian. And a sword for the fighter, instead of a blowgun. I mean, uh, instead of a sling. Let's wait off on the sword. I don't know how good spears are. In fact, let's stop there. All right. Uh, give that mace to a lion. Alien. And let's have her equip that. Okay. Now let's start to look at some armors. So let's see here. Ultimate goal, give everybody leather. Leather. If I do that, I won't be able to buy extra food, but I think that'll be all right. Who should we give the leather to? Either Peter or um, Morty. Rick can't wear that? Yeah, I know. Anything else? No. There we go. Yeah, we'll give it to Peter because Rick knows that Morty's tough enough to take this, right? There we go. We'll just change here in public. Nobody will notice him taking off his clothes and replacing it with leather. How much gold do we got now? Whoop, wrong button. A hundred. You know what? Let's spend the rest on food. I am seriously worried about food. All of the time. <laughs> Give me 100 food. We're just, we're diabetic. We're constantly eating. We're snacking on things. I imagine all of this food is like sandwiches. So we have 100 sandwiches in our pocket right now. Anything else? No. And, uh, just, here, take these sandwiches. Shove these sandwiches in your mouth constantly as we walk. We're walking, we're talking, we're shoving sandwiches in our mouths. Why? Everybody has 200 sandwiches in their pocket. Which is about what I want. I want 200 sandwiches in my pocket. I want 200 sandwiches in my pocket. Okay. Next goal, give everybody up to leather. You. Let's fight. Them fighting words. Skeletons. We can do that.
Boom. Dead. Boom. Dead. And... That one's fine. Let's go beat him up a lot. Did I get an axe from Morty? Hell, I can't remember now what they're wearing. There we go. Alright. Dead. Really? You're just gonna wait there and you're not gonna move towards me? You know that? There's a whirlpool. Maybe it's just mesmerized by the whirlpool. I don't know what this guy is, but I know he's mesmerized by this whirlpool. Alright, you and me. Fight. Oh, shit. That's a lot of... Uh... Things? Repel, please. Missed. Can they be repelled? We might be screwed early on. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's a good formation here? Okay, we're gonna make formation. I want you in the back, Rick. And Alien can handle the front line. Everybody is pretty much on good order. Scoot over. Missed. Awesome. Well, time to test out these new weapons. It's a goblin. Can we really not repel goblins? Let's, uh... Let's draw these some bitches. They've got little wands, like that's gonna help. And let's give them a little of these nubs. So, there we go. Okay. Goblins! So, we're going to play a little game. And that is, how many hit points do they got? How much damage do they do and how many hit points do they got? And I'm not 100% sure why I need to know this, but I kind of want to play. So, hit points, damage. So, all right, how much damage do they take? Kill damage, I didn't see how much damage it did. Killed that goblin, so okay, we might not be able to tell. Rick and or yeah, Rick, I need you up here. 
Okay, that goblin's dead, so maybe not so much damage. It does nine damage. So maximum of eight. Eight or nine damage so far. So far, eight to nine. doesn't make it too scary so far. Missed. Killed that goblin. Did eight damage there. Do I have enough magic for a hit? I think I do. This missile's that some bitch. Did 27 points of damage. So greater than 20, uh, 27 health. You see how this game is played? We're trying to figure out meh, roughly how much damage it's going to do. And it's dead. It did 10 damage there, so we know it can do 10 damage, so... This is actually 8 to 10 damage. And it's dead. Ah, trap, but it's avoided. We're good on food. everybody's experience like? Not very much, and I don't remember how much they need. I think it's like, what is it, like 100 experience per? I think it's like 100 experience for level 1, 200 experience for level 2, and so on up. Does it actually say? Huh, no table of contents. That's the sign of a um, quality game. Level. Set a three dimensional game. Set four characters to set their adventure from the best and strongest party by two a combination of members of each race and profession. Well, that's out. Ultima is a role playing game. What? What? Why didn't anybody tell me? Each character increases his or her experience level. In early stages of the game, the party should fight weaker enemies to increase experience level. When the points of experience reach a certain degree, doesn't say how much, the character's level will increase. Then go to see Lord British, he will increase the maximum HP, but that's all it does. Because we're going to have to hit up Ambrosia at some point. Dungeon is three-dimensional, so important to keep track of your journey so you won't get lost. Yeah, that's going to be fun when we get to that point. But it doesn't say how much experience per level. So let's see if I can remember. I think it went on a fairly standard increase, like 100 points for level 2. It was either 200 or 300 experience points for level 3. I don't know. I remember there was grinding, though, so, that. Minkies!
Okay, these things are fucking adorable. No wonder they do only 8 to 10 damage. They got this tiny little stick. What gives? Why the tiny little stick? Alright. Back to it. Wow, okay, lots of monsters over here. I don't know if I want all of them after me. Let's go after this guy. Let's fight! Okay, these things, what are they first off? I need to identify them before I can write them down. And we may not get the chance. Whatever they are, they have higher than 31 hit points. What do we what do we call these things? Let me get a good rundown of how these things look. That's good. They're undead. I seem to be melting. So... HP and damage. We'll figure this out. Now it's got greater than 31 hit points. Morty's going in with the rage. But it's not dumb enough to uh, run in front. <laughs> All right. Kick his ass, Morty. Show us what that axe is for. And he's dead. Wow. One goblin. What are we gonna do? It's so dangerous. I remember it wasn't easy for me to murk around in the Ultimas. All the enemies would win by flat attrition. They just beat me down and collect. Yeah, well, that's the game, right? I'm just gonna let the boys take care of this. We're just gonna rush in. And you know what? We're all just gonna hang back and talk to each other while Morty takes care of this. Rick and Peter are just like, so, uh, did you score any beer? Nah, Brewer wouldn't let me have any. Brewer? <laughs> should we be, uh, should we be talking to Brewer? <laughs> I mean, he's so delicate. Yeah, but he makes all the beer, so he's the most important m member of the party. <laughs> Ah, it's another one of these things. You go get him, Morty. 
You got this, buddy. So, um, does he do sake? Brewer? Yeah, he does sake. Really? We don't have any rice. In fact, now that I think about it, I don't think I've seen any rice in this world. And eh, what are you gonna do? He still makes sake. How? I don't know. He, he just does. It tastes like sake, too. It's got that, like, kind of burn to it. Cool. What kind of beers he got? What do you want? I want a milk stout. Eh, I think I can get him to make a milk stout. I'll talk to him when we get back to the uh, Royal City. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry about, about it, Morty. You can do this. I know you can. Okay, he does at least 12 damage. So, I mean, does it do anything other than beer? I haven't seen him do anything other than beer. Okay, it has uh, greater than 39 hit points. What else is there other than beer? Like, can Brewer make sandwiches? All eyes turn to Alien. I'm not making any sandwiches. Okay, that's 9 to 12 damage. Meanwhile, Morty is having the fight of his life. You think Morty's gonna be alright? Eh, he's, he'll be fine. He's just a whiny baby. There you go, Morty. We knew you could do it. We had your back the entire time. <laughs>